Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. My name is Damien and today I'd like to show you how you can use Printix to consolidate printer queues or basically clean up after you've introduced Printix to your organization. So what does that mean? Let's imagine we have several different printer queues that are installed on any given computer. Let's just go to the printer queues and also let's go here and do a batch configuration, modify those two print queues and say we want to add these automatically, save that. So this is going to install those two printer queues on my machine because I happen to be on the same network as these printers. There we are. So once this is finished, we'll essentially end up with a situation where we now have several different print queues installed on my computer and I might not even want that. So what we can do from here is we can, uh, ah, there's the other queue. Uh, we can clean up this computer by uh, going to either the print queue overview as such, and I can see how many computers this print queue is installed on. This is gonna update just in a second once it's uh, refreshed. See, um, I can see when I click onto that little symbol, which computer it is that this print queue is installed on. And what I could do from here is I could simply put the tick in the box and hit the bin. And this is going to delete that printer queue. It's not going to delete the printer queue on the on the database. It's we can still work with this, but it's going to delete it off of this computer. So when I do this, you can see it's gone. So if we give it a second, it's going to disappear out of here as well. So this means I can use the console, the, the Printix administrator, to also remove printer queues that we have discovered on computers from a central perspective. Now, just bear in mind that this printer queue is actually going to come back any second soon because it is marked to uh, auto deploy. So it will come back. So in this case, it would make sense. I'll have to untick this and say save. OK, so the other thing I could do is I could go to my computers and see from a computer perspective which printer queues are installed on these computers. So if I go to, let's let's just take my laptop over here and go to the print queue, we can see there's no print queue currently installed on it that is managed by Printix. Um, let's just use Printix to actually install a printer queue onto a computer by saying add print queue. And I'd simply take, for instance, this printer queue and say add. And what this is going to do is it's going to add that as a task and say install that printer queue on that computer. If the computer isn't online at this moment, it will wait until it comes online and then that's why you've got the status pending and then execute this action. So I can install printer queues manually to specific computers. I can go to, let's just hop over to the printers, uh, sorry, to the computers and go to my computer here and look at the print queues. In here we can see these print queues are installed currently. Let's just take that one and hit the bin. Gone. Okay, so we can use Printix to clean up and enforce like a, yeah, a company standard, if you will. There's another way of removing print queues off of computers. It will give you the same result, but the, uh, the strategy is a little bit different here. So if I go into my printer queues, and let's just quickly go to Printix, uh, Printix client and add this one and that one. Just going to add these two print queues and speed up the video. Okay, so here we are. We've just quickly self-serve installed these two print queues. So we have something to work with going to finish this and I could open the manual which in fact is the user manual I'd just like to show you this while it pops up so this is the end user manual just bear in mind and this is something that uh, might be confusing in many instances we are currently looking at the administration and the end user experience at the same time so of course an end user wouldn't be involved with any of these settings. This is what we would do once as part of the uh, the setup, the POC, the piloting phase, to get the backend setup, the, the framework in place. And then the users simply go and use uh, the solution to, uh, to get their print queues, essentially. Um, so 
popping back into um, cleansing the system, I can use a different method to, to delete print queues off of computers and at the same time delete them out of the database or out of the cloud instance for this tenant. So this means when we install Printix client onto uh, computers, what we will do is we will gather all of the print queues that are currently set up pointing at specific IP addresses and we will add all of those queues underneath the actual printer instance, the sort of the, the, the hardware behind this. So this is the actual printer with three printer queues associated and we can see these are the print queue names. So this means if I go over to the print queue overview, we can see that I can also filter by the, uh, the Printix ID. So these are all the print queues for this ASD printer. We'll get into the ASD at a later stage in a different video explaining secure printing um, and how users can easily find printers and self-serve install them using the Printix ID. So stay tuned for that. Um, but what we want to do here is we want to clean up the system and say, all right, uh, we have printer queues currently installed on one computer. These three are all installed on my machine over here, but I only want to, uh, I only want to have one print queue uh, for the users, possibly two, one defaulted to black and white and one for color. However, I want to do it. What I would do is select the printer queues I want to get rid of. Let's imagine I want to get rid of these two printer queues that I formerly inherited from a print server. Uh, by doing this from the print queue overview, I'm not only deleting these print queues off of the computers they are currently installed on, but also out of the database for this cloud tenant. So now they are gone altogether. It will go out and find them on all computers running these print queues now, get rid of them on the actual operating systems as we saw here, and it will remove them out of the print queue overview. So if I go back into an unfiltered view for all of my print queues, now for the ASD printer, I just have this one print queue available to me, and that's the only one that's left. So just to maybe finish this off, if I want to enforce this for everyone that is uh, signed into this network that this printer lives on, I'd open it and tick the box Add Print Queue Automatically. Simple as that. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.